What's it going to take for Oregon State to spoil Arizona on senior night? We're talking ducks, or excuse me, beeves and Arizona coming up next. <laughs> also coming up next, we're going to tell you about a special report, a new treatment that is helping fight opi opioid addiction. In on average, three people die in Oregon every day from using opioid opioids prescribed by a doctor. Brady Wakayama joins us live in the River Road area tonight to show us how a festive 4th of July for some can be a nightmare for others. Again, Brady joining us live to show us. Yes, I can hear you now. All right, we apologize for that. Eugene, please, we can tell you they're opening up a tip line on property and even animals. Again, Eugene, oh, police shoot. are asking for help to get a list of locations within the city of Eugene that have had illegal fireworks happen in older cars has killed at least 22 children since 2002. According to Safety Watchdog and Advocacy Group, kids in cars, uh, Medford police to find out what, their, uh, what year the car was in this case, and they... We're not able to get us that. Matt and Renee, people are starting to gather here at the Wayne Morse Free Speech Plaza to send a message of peace as part of the launch of more than 50 Tomahawk cruise missiles on a Syrian air base. Kalen, a spokesperson with the FBI of Oregon, says that you should never, you should keep your profile uh, you should keep your profile private and you should never click or respond to any threats that you don't know of. And coming up at 6, I'll be speaking with State Representative Julie Fahey on why she's trying to protect or not, uh, she's fighting for the, um, the opening of the hospital. And see everything actually put from plans into real life and see it built. All right, we lost Brady, but uh, we are told the project cost $34 million and was paid for with the uh, state money under the jobs and transportation. All across the state, it takes effect October 1st. Electric vehicle manufacturers and dealers and bike advocates, also LTD riders affecting children who are exploded exploited well if you have an idea tell him steve are still in shock and disbelief tell him steve are still in shock and disbelief bob megan i'm here i'm uh it's still actually a very active scene here on austin way where police are investigating what they're calling a suspicious death the con caution tape is still up right now but there are so many unanswered questions about what happened in this home and police are being very tight-lipped about what is happening here at this home and there is still no word yet on how long they will be here investigating live in eugene bailey miller kzi 9 news thank you bailey now Good evening, Oscar and Renee. Yeah, the Clark family in this home is just one of thousands of UWeb customers that are dealing with a bill that is almost double than their last month. They will reconcile the difference between an actual bill and an estimated bill the next time the meter is read. And you can check your bills to see if you do have an estimated bill. If you have any questions, you can give UWeb a call. Live in Eugene, Bailey Miller, KZI 9 News. All right, it's that time. All right. Yeah. New findings. New findings show Mother Nature may be better at keeping you cool then as information becomes available. There is a vigil happening tonight. There is a vigil happening tonight. Investigation into Sunday night's mass shooting at a Las Vegas Mugus Music Festival. Sarah Compton says she was ready to take on the annual tradition to still for the to ensure the Christmas parade in Springfield. However, within the last and this Saturday, live in Roseburg, Macy Highland, KEZI 9 News. Thank you, Hiley. Uh, Macy, uh, the principal, uh, let's move forward here. We have got uh, gotten lost here in some of our scripts. So moving forward to the story, trying to find it here. My apologies. In fact, at this point, we are going to take a break and come right back. We apologize. Some of those cases and sketches coming up on KZI 9 News at 6. Live in the newsroom, Rosie Nguyen, KZI 9 News. 
Cool, thanks. All thanks. right, thank you very much, Rosie. This man here, a Coos Bay man, was in court stuff? for the first time <laughs> this afternoon to face murder charges. Kentaris Rondeau is accused of killing. If you are interested in going, it is happening October 11th at the Eugene Hilton from 11.30 until 1.30, and it is $15. I'm going to double check the date. It may be the 10th as well. well I'm going to quickly clarify the breast uh, cancer luncheon happening next month put on by Susan G. Coleman is on October the 10th. We apologize for that. An Oregon high school student. Toxins in our body. The National Academics, the National Academics, Academies of Science, Engineering, and Medicine say that a healthy man needs about 125 ounces. Misada is live in the studio with us with the late breaking details. Jeanette? Matt, we just spoke to the sister of 39-year-old Cindy Warren. Stephanie Williams says, quote, my sister says Mike would not let her leave and that she needed to stay there forever. She left today while he was preoccupied and I'm happy she's home. Dylan says the university is prepared for all sorts of scenarios, including natural disasters. When it comes to shootings, <coughs> <coughs> excuse me, she says they want to prevent something like that happening. But it's just one of those things we have to think about now. All right, workers in New York City are busy installing crystal triangles on the ball that will descend onto Times Square this New Year's Eve. When it's finished, it'll be covered with more than 2,600 Waterford crystal triangles, brighter than what you see here. This year, there are so crystals bad. cut to resemble butterflies, as well as diamonds and wedges, obviously having some technical issues.